everybody out there, I'm Michael. I'm George. And this is Vape and Cuz. And today we're reviewing... Well, no. we're not reviewing anything. <laughs> we're showing you the different types of stuff that you can get and used to be able to get and you cannot get anymore. This is like a history lesson. Going from pens all the way up to drippers. Going from... Where should we start? Ooh. Does it still work? I have no idea. I'll try this one. Ooh. Yeah, that one works. Oh my god, it's pouring out vapor. Do you know how old is that, George? Three years old? Oh my god. What? Who is that, dude? <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Wait a minute, let me get rid of the clouds, guys. Whoa, the clouds! Where are we going at? That's, that's really. I'm sorry, guys, for my language, but that's really shitty. Ah, oh, let me do it. I'm gonna do a proper competition. This is a green smoke. That was a lot of effort for this, nothing. This cost me 90 pounds. You're having a laugh. 90 this? pounds. Well, that doesn't happen. Oh, it comes off. Uh, yeah. What? The rest stayed there. It wasn't supposed to. This is old. <laughs> no, don't worry, leave it there, leave it there, it's fine. That's stuck, man. Right, so that is a, what is that, a pen, uh, a, a cigarette replicating cigarette. It has no flavor, no nothing. It is still puffing away. How old is that, George? Three years? Three years old? More. More than three years. One of his first electric cigarettes that he's got. 90 pounds is a bit up there on the prices what you can get now. Yeah, well, you can get what 90 pounds. So you can get a freaking snowball. Yeah. Well, if you see this in the shops and somebody tells you to buy it, don't. Oh, is that and they go to you. Oh, it has a changeable but cartridge. Normally, like that one. Petrol stations oh. and uh, shopping centers and whatnot. Should we do a, a should we do a, a, a comparison? That one doesn't work. Oh, what a shame. Should we do a, a little comparison? Just real quick. Oh, you plow your clouds. Let me just rank this up a bit because it's at 5 watts. I think my battery just died while well, I reached the limit. Go on in, go on in. Yeah, it's still going. <gasps> it's so harsh! Oh my god. That's like. I don't even know how to compare it. No, there's no words for it. There you go. Right, so yeah, that's the first type you can get at petrol stations, at shopping centers, and whatnot. E lights and all this crap. Don't, honestly. Don't waste your money. Seriously, the price you pay for two of these, you can buy freaking Baltimore. Well, not this one, but another one. Yeah, advanced ones. So, so these two, out. So after that, you've got the more elaborate styled ones. It's the same style. Oh! It's not working, but it's working. Yeah, there's nothing on it. How do you want it to work? I don't know. <laughs> uh, what's the next type? Next step is these. Well, these atomizers are these. I just opened a brand new one. I had this sealed in the box. That would have been worth quite a lot. We put a bit of a VG. Uh, it's a Titan tank from Totally Wicked. Titan. T. You want to give it a two? I have this as seven and a half watts on the vapor shark because I know it's accurate. I don't want to blow it up. <laughs> I think we blew up one of them. Now that's a decent amount of, you know, vapor. Now, if you're like a regular smoker, um, moving on to uh, electric cigarettes, it can replicate how a cigarette can um, can provide smoke, basically. Yeah, it's the same amount of it's smoke. It's casual. Over. If you're not out there wanting, you know, cloud and chasing. And it's got a tiny tank. I just think it's quite a lot. There's one to last your day. What the day? This is one mil point two. Yeah, if you compare that to a drip. And then you have the optimizer in there. Oh my god. Again, it's it's really it's you know, quite decent. How much was that roughly? Well, this. Yes. I don't remember. I don't know. Forty I know something can, pounds. You can still get hold of them there. And I bought this. No, you can't. No. They finished. Oh. Anything. I bought this as well. Oh, look at that. That's yeah. proper professional. Yeah. There's more batteries of the Titan. You put it. You just put it in there. Charge. 
you have a mic, the USB, it's not a mic, it's a mini USB. Oh, yeah. You charge the box and the light will come up in here, charge the battery, there you go. And so, so they're all variable, not variable wattage, yeah, fixed wattage. Yeah. So let's put this aside. And then moving over, and then you've got a massive step, and then you've got these ego styled pens. Normally they're normally clarimized as clear, but uh, no, this is still the old that's, style. That's the ego T tank. Oh, those are changeable heads. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is the Ego C. This is an updated version. Okay. Well, they still, I still, I have the head somewhere. Doesn't matter. Dirt. They still look the same. You have the manual ones with the button. You have to press it to fire. It glows. Or you have the automatic ones, which have no button. It's all done to pressure inside. Is I don't know if they still make these. Most probably, yeah, they do. Well, let's put this aside. Put that on the side as well. Upgrading from that, again, wow. it's the same type from, you know, the battery list. Yeah, and these were the first ones that made me proper stop smoking. Really? Mm. The Ego Cs. That was it. Man, I hate it. Um, and then you've got these battery styled ones. The same thing with the button, it's just a bit more uh, elaborate. Yeah, uh, you can change the, the power on it. Yeah, now it's blue, it's a different power. And now it's red. More the most powerful is. I think, I think the powerful is the most powerful. Oh, okay. you, can see, you can see the battery level in there. There you go. Quite advanced. Uh, it's all the same. Grab them for like 15, 20 pounds. Uh, again, the same style. However, this is variable voltage. Voltage. <laughs> uh, you can adjust it from. It's Ego Twist. 3.2 to all the way to 4.8 volts. That's not bad. Mm. Quite decent. I mean, amp rating and whatnot. Yeah, so. Well, this is a smoke actually, it's not a twist. I don't know, my twist, I think it blew up all of them. Moving over from them types. Oh, uh, yeah, this, the Eagle Series, I think, were the first ones to have the. What? Oh, this is a. This is still an old Eagle, it doesn't work. Okay. Look how old that is, my god. Um, what's next, George? What's next? Ah, you started to have these types of things. Well, this is a bit damaged. Quite advanced though. Yeah, I, I needed the 510 to do one of my own mods. So I can. It was really nice though. It was a high taste BB. Should have an updated version now. Yeah, they do. You had regular, uh, you could choose your own voltage. It was very neat. Nice. Well, yeah. battery would last you nothing. But, oh, okay. well, but there you go. At the time, the tanks were weak. You know, I 1.2 ohms and stuff. So, yeah, they would last all right. Moving on from them, uh, should we go mechanical or should we go available voltage? Oh, that this was your first, my proper. first proper. This thing was huge at the time and heavy. Look at grab that. That's light. I remember you said, hey, look at this bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> Does it still work? Um, I haven't got a battery to put in it. Is it normal? Yeah, 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 it's 18, it's 50. Do you want to rub on the mic? I don't know, but I still have one or two. I don't know, they are. I shouldn't be doing these unmarried. Uh, no, these are married. Just a puff, man. Come just on. Puff, just one puff on one of my married batteries. No, just, just turn it on, see if it works. Oh, it's alive! Is it alive? Oh, wow. Oh my god, the screen is so big, I'll need the magnifying glass to see it. You want to show them how it looks like? Oh my god, look at that. Wow, this thing went from 3 volts to 6 volts! Whoa, oh wow, that's actually quite boom, quite heavy, isn't it? Yeah, we had the amp limit on it. Mm. Quite nice, let me get my battery back before you unpair my married batteries. Man, I just, I just turn the mod on. Don't go nuts over it. You have your VTC4s. There you go, the torpedo. So, quite good. This was my first 18650 mod with the Big button and a clicky thing and adjustable thing and a locking mechanism and a power off switch and I was like, yeah, look at me, you guys and your egos and me with my freaking torpedo. Looks like torpedo. Right, here we are. Moving over, you got the Vamu. Uh, this is really popular. They're still selling this. Yeah, but the new versions. Yeah, the new versions, but you can buy the boards and whatnot. It's always like a little robot face to it. Sorry, I forgot to have a stick under the bottle. What the hell was that? <laughs> um, yeah, this was one of the most popular 
mods out there. Again, it was a variable volt uh, voltage mod. So 18650. Well, no, that one had watts on it. I had watts on it, okay. Yeah, watts and volts. Uh, with this one, however, I don't know if you've removed it. If you have, you want to grab me in uh, the old style tank that can fit onto this? This. Mm -hmm. You put it back in there. No, no, it's here. It's the same thing. Alright, so what are these things called again? Uh, ego it, threads. E ego threads, so. There you go, a proper ego. There we go. That's the one. This is the actual ego. Again, it goes inside. Again, still pop, uh, loads of people use it, beginners use it. It goes inside it, and then you well, can... Well, we, we can't really call them beginners. Oh. Begin, well, yeah, beginning Still, yeah, the, into the vape journey. I've got the actual word. But yeah, and also, you've got other 510s, so you can actually put um, you know, drippers and whatnot onto it. Yeah, nowadays, everybody just has a flat 510. Mm. Kind of thing. So we're going to put these bad boys away. This, one back yeah. this was kind of more adv advanced. This is not very old actually. No, no it's a kind of pro tank, aero tank mini. It's got adjustable airflow. Mm -hmm. So it is not that yeah, old. That's... Yeah, we're, we're getting towards the 2015 and era. And replaceable so Moving along from there, we've got then mechanical mods. There is loads. You got 18650 batteries, 18. 26. 26650. Huh? Big, the, the bigger fat ones. The big fat boys. Uh, yeah, you've got so basic, ones. the 20... 26, 650? 26 or 28, 650? I can't remember now. One of those. The big ones, they they can withstand a lot more amps. Yeah. You know, for your low sub-ohm builds. Uh, yeah, the 18650 is the most used one. What battery is in this bad boy? You have to open it up and take it out. Believe it or not, that is a mechanical mod. So small and posh. Uh, I've been opening up the wrong end because I don't know how to operate this item. You're taking off this thing because this is actually ego threading. Oh my god! And an adjustable center pin. And that's proper advanced. Back in the day. Yeah, Perdita. I never saw anybody talking about these. Hmm. I think this is like a lost relic in the world of monsters. Um, obviously, you got. It's all mechanical mods again. It was very well, it still is popular. Oh, what battery was that? That's the one. 14500. Whoa, look at that. That's something you see in the RC car. Yeah, that's an AA battery. Mm. Yeah, there you go. And then you got the regular ones coming up. You got, I don't know what this thing's called. You got 18650 batteries. Now, this is the most popular ones you get. Uh, you got a side button where you can fire it, uh, gold plated top. Uh, Again, just 510. Now, this is all going to be the same. We've got, again, 18650, 510 adapter, 18650 um, battery, and you got at the bottom, you get to fire it it's over there. And then you've got telescope. I don't know what this is. This is called the Nemesis. The Nemesis. You can fit the smaller batteries and also the normal 18650s. Yeah. Nemesis, Nemesis. That's not a Nemesis. It's too heavy. Where's the other Nemesis? Oh, the Nemesis. There you go. The whole. The whole range of Nemesis. There's more now. There's a black and there's a white and there's a limited edition. There's this and there's that. Wait. So basically, I'm sorry, they're all the same. Apart from a different switch or whatever, a different locking system. They're all the freaking same. Then you've got mechanical mod meshed into variable, uh, into what are these things? Uh, oh, you've yeah. even got small ones. Oh my god. Yeah, these are the extendable tubes. You. You make them bigger by unscrewing them. You have the firing oh, I had one of them at home. Yeah, this is the Sigelis. Mm. Come back with the name. Sigelis are really good, make cheap and good quality. Uh, and then. Uh, I don't know what they got. Then you got more elaborate looking uh, mechanical mods. Now, this is more of a. I don't even know what this thing's called. What was this thing called? The slug. Oh, the slug. It's got like a. Uh, steel punk, steel punk. Yeah, steel punk comes in this thing. Yeah, I got him for his, his Christmas present. Yeah. Quite lovely. Steel punk, the slug. Really nice. Look at that. Look at that. That's a really nice mod. So all these batteries are in obviously not parallel. Uh, uh, single. Just single batteries, and then you after that you got multiple batteries. Now you can go up to. Give me my. Give me my. my thing. This is homemade, by the way. Uh, you can put three batteries. But they're all in parallel. Uh, so basically, you increase your milliamps per hour 
and your battery, your time, your vape time, basically. But you keep it safe. Yes. Because the amp, the amp rating, you, you're kind of sharing the load between all batteries. How many you have? Two, three, four, a million, gazillion. How many batteries you have in parallel? You're sharing the load between all of them. So yeah, if you want to do a crazy build, crazy build sub all million. Now, right. when, it, when it comes to you know homemade, you've got loads. You got this. I don't know what this thing. It was called the log. The log. You got the log. You got the pistol grip, where it, you slide open. You can put the um, battery inside. Uh, what was there? Oh, I'm really proud of this thing. Yeah, that was a really good one. I made the grip before everybody else. Oh yes, you made the grip. I made this thing before the grip started to come up. I should have patented it. <laughs> I'm mean, sorry, look at that. Even the ones today can't match the speed of a battery change on this thing. Mm. Top! Done. Well, there you go. Uh, then you've got this, it's called the pipe, when you put the, uh, I'm gonna say, you just grab any old... That's empty, man. I'm not, I'm, yeah. Oh, there's no battery in Exactly, it. I'm not gonna vape. Uh, it's homemade as well. Uh, homemade. Now, he calls this the pipe, but I call this the ball sack. <laughs> I call this the... Uh, Dr. Va no. Mr. Vape -a -Lot. No, 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 no. SVL. Sir vape a lot. Oh yes, sir vape. And, sir vape a lot. And you have to put a freaking tank, which the drip tip that I bought on purpose for it does not fit. My apologies, sir. Because it's, it's a that the spire. Sorry to say this. I know there's loads of fans. It's a freaking disabled 510 drip tip because nothing fits on it. There you go. If you actually want to send it, thank you. Very much. Oh, there you go. That's a freaking sir. If there was a battery on it. A classy man. Oh, look at that. He locks as well. I'm really, that's another one I'm really proud of. It's really grossy. It does look good though. As, as a handmade sculpted ball, really nice. It's really good. I'm gonna lie, it's quite good. <laughs> there you go. uh, so you move the log out the way. What else is there? Oh, there's so many to go through. Uh, and then you've got this one homemade again. It, I call this the um, pipe bomb. You realize we changed this from a beginner starter things. Into a freaking history lesson. <laughs> that is true. But at least they know what, what they You got a pipe bomb, again, another homemade uh, battery mod thing. This was a 13650 battery or something like that. It was tiny. So mostly of them was made of wood, now it moves on to metal. Uh, did you make this by hand? Which one? This. Yes. Bloody hell, he made this out of hand. This is metal. No, it's a bit screwed up. It's actually a. It was an aluminium block. But now it's kind of screwed. It's like a freaking DNA. It is a DNA. But there's no battery. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, it is. Spent a, a lot of man hours trying to make that. And it's taller, but it's thinner. Yes. <laughs> I don't know how I made it. And moving on, we he's a uh, change a Hanna mod into a mechanical. Yeah, I had a bit of a malfunction there. It worked for a day, then it stopped. The DNA board just decided to go bust on me for some reason. Just showing up errors. And I just kind of, I quit it. I couldn't even go to the stress anymore. And that was it. So nice, it was such a nice part. Fat Daddy 510. Moving on uh, along from mechanical mods, then you've got uh, these Aspire. They are technically mechanical and it's a safe mechanical. Yes, you can lock. You can actually lock it and stop it from firing, and also you can unlock it so you can fire it. Uh, and then along that, you've got a hybrid. Oh yeah, explain before, what that is. before you explain that, you're going over yourself. Yes? Well, see, I'm not supervising you, you're just jumping all over the place. I do apologize. Yeah, coming back a few years back, for the mechanicals, they want, for people who had mechanicals who wanted to have regulated vape, they came up with the kick. This is not the Evolve one, this is the smoke. Smoke kick? Yeah, the smoke smoke kick. You drop this in to your uh, tube mod, the mechanical one, and you could adjust your wattage from there. Mm. It was like, well, once you put it in, it had to stay there and anything. But yeah, this, this the pin on the side used to touch the negative post, and this one used to be the positive, and there you go. That was a really good idea, I can't deny it. Absolutely. Uh, well, what was it? Can we now move on to the... E yeah, go into that and then let me do the tanks. Absolutely. So you've got the E-Grip. E-Grip. What this is, it's a tank. 
atomizer, battery, everything all in one. Believe it or not, there is a tank inside there with the atomizer. Below there, you can actually rebuild it yourself. Uh, with a 510 at the top, that is, I don't know if it's removable. Yes, it is removable. So yeah, that is all in one. Adjustable, oh, still got battery. Adjustable voltage and wattage. And there's a accessory for it, you can, it's an RBA section, you can build your own coil on it. It's the tiniest tech known to man. Known to man and humanity and alien species out there. Oh, refill it, just let me know. You can refill it on the side. Close it. There you go. You it's a really nice model. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, that's really nice. And then, Did you say it's adjustable? Yes, that's it. Oh, okay. And uh, moving from there, you got a vapor shark where it's uh, temperature controlled, variable wattage. Yeah, you have these things. I don't know if you talk about it. No, I haven't spoken about them. Right, this is an ego adapter. It's for mods like that, for example, where you can't fit the ego threaded stuff. Like the tank we had here just now, but it's gone, and I'm not gonna bend down again. I'm fed up. <laughs> so basically, you can't screw it in because you don't have the threads. So you screw this one in. And then you can put your ego thing in there, and it works just as the same. What? Oh, Genesis tanks. I'm I'm talking about the tanks. Okay, okay. You freaking talk all over the videos. I'll be quiet this time. Are we done with the mods? Uh, and then you got yeah the high powered mods. Yeah, 200 watts, and that's more than advanced temperature control and whatnot. 200, 350 with the variant. And... Yeah, you skipped all the things. Okay, oh, this is for the tanks. Fits me. This is this. This is giving. You have the top firing, mechanical as well. Together. So we moved from egos, sorry, from e sticks, e stick, e sticks, uh, to ego cell tanks, to variable uh, wattage tanks, uh, mods, uh, into mechanical mods, and then variable wattage, everything, and then. I don't know, it, and, now really it's and now it's temperature control, as these two have it, and plus the IPv4. Where you can and charge and the other the 75 watts, and uh, bloody hell, everything that's coming out now is temperature Absolutely. control. Uh, we're, we're losing track. So, again, we're trying to keep you up to date, so, sort of, somehow. Right, now tanks. Right. Wait, wait, before you continue, can you flip this around? What? Tanks towards you. Oh my god. There we go. Happy now? Can I have my mods? You keep nicking my mods. I like having my mods. Ah. So, basically, let's start with the crappiest ones, which I don't have here, which were the VV Novas. It's not here. I have the heads though. Oh, VV Novas! Oh, VV Novas! I have the heads here. I don't know where my VV Novas are. I know I have them. I don't know. Just, I just don't know where. Yes. They, you just came come like this. They look like something out of a sex shop. You know, something you'd pop out and or a pill or something medicinal. Would you like a tablet, sir? I have it now for your headache. I used to hate on taking them out. It, it, it felt so clinical. Well, there you go. So, whatever. Like a condom in the pack. Absolutely. Something like that. Let's put Then they came out with the Genesis. The Genesis tanks. How did you have to do that? How did you? They're still around. And I still, I saw it. They're pretty good. Ah, there you go. There's a point where you like them. Wow, this thing is really simple. I thought this was much more elaborate. No, mm. no, you you customize it to your likings. Oh yeah, I took the post out. Yes, it used to be a uh, what was it mesh? Oh yeah, this Wire is mesh. this is like a, a dripper in a tank. Yes. Oh my god, this is really old. Look at the color of that. That is steeped. <laughs> oh my god, where's the oh, paint? Why is that? Is that silica? No, that's cotton. Oh, oh, by the way, there's silica styles and now there's cotton. Do you have the paper there? No, I don't. <laughs> it looks like a massive booger. <laughs> Stick it on there, man. <laughs> <laughs> give me that. What do you mean, give me that? <laughs> oh my god. So basically, what you would do, you'd pick up, or still do, you'd pick up wire mesh, some different gauge wire mesh, stainless steel wire mesh, you would roll it around, you would carbonize it, is it cold? We used to heat it up till it goes and black. And then make it cold, and then heat it up, and. Uh, I remember the name, because it's not carbonized it. Something, make it non-conductive. Put like a protective layer on the side. Yeah, carbonized. Yeah. Carbonized, that's it. Build carbon layer yes. around it. So you wouldn't short circuit the coil. And then the coil would be vertical. The, the 
the roll of mesh would go down and would suck your liquid up and to run to the coil. Who and came up with that idea? I don't know, but you, I'm sorry, it worked really good. I hate what it. Is, is the amount of hot spots I had on those ta- on that tank right there that he's holding. Yeah. Oh my gosh, and the times I think he overheated my mouthpiece. But at least you had a tank, a big tank. That was a point. But yeah. feeling it though, oh. It's one of the first ones. Man, the amount of like headaches. Proper. Everyone was on the chance. Oh, look at that! You got it in there. Can I put it out? Show them. This one has stainless steel cable. Oh. Yeah. With a bit of stainless steel mesh on the top. Can you see that? That's a freaking stainless steel cable. That's like what bridges are made of. Yeah. Can you wait? Amazingly. I don't know how would that work? I don't know, but it did. Why is there a screw stuck in there? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You got the pictures. It's the same type. I love them so much, I bought two. I hated them so much, I got rid of them. <laughs> oh! Three! And, and four. And five. Genesis styles. Yeah. Man, you love these things, don't you? Yeah, they, they work good, man. Well, due to the hot two inches on, isn't it? Down. Can I see what I'm doing? Right. Coming out from that, then they came up with the the, the K phone. What's the K phone? <gasps> What's the K phone? It's in the box. It's on the top drawer. We can just explain how a K phone works. It's the same as a. This is basically almost like a K phone. Yeah, kind of. The K phone was the first one, man. Kind of a proper tank that everyone loved. I'm afraid we won't be able to watch it or see the K phone. Just. Look at cape. Ah! Oh, we do have a cape one. It was laughing at us. It was right here. Oh, that's a small one. Because normally they're really uh, tall. Yeah, I have a mini version here. <laughs> Still liquid in it. Smells of nothing. It smells of old. It's so liquidy. I have a blue glass section. Blue oh, one. That is so plastic. This plastic used to crack with the lemon and cinnamon, cinnamon. and stuff juices. They used to crack and puff. There you go. Know, Used to have to fill them with the bot from the bottom with the screw, and to take the screw out, and to fill them up, and screw back in. Or you could unscrew just the top portion of it, fill it up to whatever you could, screw a little bit, and then turn it around so the air would go to the top. So when you screw the rest in, the pressure, the build-up pressure would come out through your air hole, like ah, all the little come out. So there you go. But it was a really good. This was the first proper proper thing, and then. Oh, we're missing one big player in the picture. What is that, sir? sir? Oh, no way. Oh, this the... is the mini. Oh. My god, the... Oh. And you stole my box, didn't you? Because your one never came in a proper box. I had two. I swapped the box. You swapped it for a shitty one. I swapped the box. You had two boxes to tackle from. Yeah, because my one had made in Germany. You had two good ones. I had, yeah, exactly. You had two good ones, I had one crappy one. <laughs> That's not yours because this is mini. Yes. Ah, so shut up. That's I only have one. Look at that. Typhoon. I use. I always prefer this to the K fan. Always. Big tank. I don't know the flavor was just the better. complexity of that. Order. I modded mine the whole mother. Oh my god. Who's the other tank with ceramic and whatnot? Look at that. It's there. Ah, where? Wait. I have two of them. Oh my god. Oh, silica wire. There you go. Some silica. Silica. Make the, the amount of silica we vapes and the, the dry hits was I swear there's nothing healthy about the dry hits we got on them. They were the horriblest things ever. Dry hits on silica? Yes. Silica doesn't burn. That, that smell when you What's the taste of the old old liquid carbonizing the thing? And then they had the typhoon, the mini version. It was long. It was mini, very thin. Moving along. <laughs> Not very long. Then they made up the Ithaca. That thing was the audacity of science. Whoever yes, had one. engineering degree of God knows. Oh, look how pretty that one looks. Now that, I'm sorry, was my most favorite one ever. You must have, have patience, skills. I'm sorry, that was the most well-designed. This, this was a work of art. It's it to is that to me that looked like an Aston Martin. You could take you, this off and use it direct hybrid on the golden Greek mod, which I mechanical mod which I have somewhere. 
we showed it to you before. Man, I love this. I need to own this stuff, even on this thing. This was uh, ceram uh, ceramic, silica only. You have to put the tank, but you had juice control. This was the only tank. <laughs> we almost had an accident. This was the only tank that had juice control and airflow control. Man, and that everything is solid control. and proper. And you could feel it from the top. It was just so hard to build. Don't go nuts on it. Ooh! It takes that too fast. Man, that would have been up a bit. Ooh, those liquids are so old fashioned. Was it seized? Is that seized? No, because uh, I changed your ring. The thing was too sm uh, loose. And I put a bigger old ring on it. But I think I went a bit. It tastes like tobacco. You know, it's totally wicked tobacco. Probably it is. <laughs> How am I gonna move this? Oh, that is tight. Ah, it moved. Is that the right way? Yes, there we go. It's just. By the way, that was reading as one point something bolt. So, mind you, this. No, that's not firing. That's not doing that. Put it in there. Give me that. Snow Wolf is not the most indicated mod to try. Old stuff on it. Oh, 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 stop, 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 stop. It's not available with the ring. Is that it? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I got on the Lambo. Oh, oh, sorry, on, on the Aston Martin. Now, you've got the Kanga new tanks, uh, new mods that look like freaking Lamborghini. Now, you've got this one that looks like an Aston Martin. To regulate your liquid flow, you used to open, turn oh, around yeah. the drip tip. I even have the adapter to use your own drip tip. Now that liquid is just old, you shouldn't be using that. <laughs> that was that. Oh, this is so weak, man. That's more like it. I'm not going to inhale that again. I'm just going to have it in my mouth. Sorry for the silenceness, but we're fascinated with that. It's it's been a long time. Since I'm sorry. That's the most beautiful tank ever. It is. I'm. You know what? On that basis, basis, I'm gonna buy another one. What? No, I've got one. I think mine was cracked. Is that glass? No, that's plastic. Yeah, mine was cracked. Mm. Right. right. Keep going. After all those jabangs start to come out, uh, most recently we have. Oh, Aspire, Atl Atlantis. I keep forgetting Nautilus of Atlantis. Look at it. You know what it is. Uh, well, this is the long last section of it. Can I have my mod back? I keep sneaking my mods. Uh, this one is one that started it all. The subbombing tanks that we recently see everybody having oh. with the trends. Oh my god, I felt so good. Good for you. Enjoy it. No, mm. I'm talking. Uh, yeah, you can't use your own red tape on it because it for some reason doesn't fit. I'm just try just to be sure, so I'm not talking rubbish. But it does fit. But the original thing doesn't fit. I was talking rubbish there. Or is this one that doesn't fit on the normal one? Yeah, the moment of madness. I'm sorry, there's a tank where this doesn't fit. You've got a video to review. Man, this was just nuts. Okay. Never mind anything I said about the red tips. Then this one came out, and then the Kanger Tech made the. We don't have one here. Seriously? I have, we have the whole collection! Of Kanger? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, on that basis, today I ordered a, a glass tank. Okay. The sub tank mini, most popular. They had the, the big version, then they made the midi, and then they made the nano, and now they have the mini version 2. And, and now the, they got the plus. The plus, and <laughs> now they're talking about the version 3. So, I don't know. We're lost. But basically, t to me, honestly. Don't taste the same, I've tried all of them. Uh, just putting it out there, because everybody keeps saying, Oh, this one tastes much better. Oh, this one is so much good. Oh, the airflow is so much wider. It, for God's sake, wake up, people. It's what? Nothing. My e poach e is doing the same. It's the same, man. It's exactly the same crap. What the hell is wrong with you people? Oh, this one is so much better. Oh, this one is much better. 
Oh, the, the pot is better. Oh, the Zephyrus is better. Oh, oh, this is Aetica. This is the one that doesn't count. Oh, put it back in this beautiful box. It's not that one. No. This one is on the box. They're all the same. Man. Oh, the Zephyrus was in my hand. The well, I actually prefer the Zephyrus because they use a fill from the top. So these are all tank base um, atomizers. And then moving on. From yeah, for beginners, I would recommend the sub tank box kit. There's no for the price. There's no, there's no for the money for practicability. It's it's. There's no negatives on that thing. That thing is just for beginners. Both. Even for regular use. Yeah. For that thing for, is perfect. For perfect. perfect. For experts and for beginners, that's the one to go for. And then you got moving on to drippers, and then that is on a whole never another level. Yes, completely different level. Just trying to do that. I thought the bottom was coming up, but it wasn't. You have plume veils, you have uh, uh, zenits, plume, plume veils, you have zenits, another black plume veil, and you have the tobe. That you modified. Yes, with the big chicholi in the hole in there. <laughs> uh, and then you have what you have. Then you have uh, mm. the cats, mad cats, the cats, quad, quad builds. Uh, oh man, come on, come on, seriously, with crazy different ideas for airflows. Then you have the Veritas, was everybody kept raving about it, the Veritas, the Veritas. Seriously? Mm. Oh, I don't know. Then I got this one. Oh, because the Veritas is heavier. This is bigger. Oh, right. Then you have the Pyro. The Pyro? Got this one on sale though. I can't really complain. It's crap though. The thing is, you only use one atomizer, uh, one dripper for a week, and then you get another one. Oh, this was my second one. I don't know what my first one is. This was my second one. The Trident V2. It was actually alright, it wasn't too bad. It's so tiny though. This thing is so tiny compared to the drippers nowadays. My god! <laughs> bigger airflow, bigger juice canals. There you go. Then they started having these crazy ideas, putting a tank on a dripper. This was Dimitri's idea, wasn't it? I think so, yes. Yeah. Uh, you have like a... I don't even know how to open this. Oh, You have a dripper on top, but you have a tank on the bottom, and you squeeze it, and the liquid kind of sips through with the pressure. Oh no, it kind it's of puddles up. It squonks. It's a squonker. Then you have the airflow in there to regulate it. I, I don't even remember how to use this thing, to be honest. And this was a hybrid with the Nemesis. You could take this off and screw it directly into the Nemesis. Well, it wasn't. It is, but it was. It didn't have much success. It's kind of. Sounds like a watch. Hmm. Huh. On the watch basis. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> it's getting <laughs> late. Because I'm yawning a little bit. Top three new ripper. What else we have? Then most recently we have the geyser, it's a quad core build. It's like a little guys, little geyser. Yeah, it's very interesting. Oh my god. Ooh. Yeah, I still have the quad cores in there. Why, why does the liquid get like that? It steeps. It's matured into like wine. Whatever. And then the, uh, the concave insides, you know, to build up pressure, to less space inside to create more flavor, different adjustable air positions. Adjustable center pins, heat sinks on the on the top. Uh, well, heat sinks on most of them, and then we have the alien with the big ass drip tip. I still don't like the look. The, the egg cut in there with the bottom airflow designs and the front airflow. Then we have the mud hatter that try to incorporate like easy of ease of use. You can drip it straight and put this hat back on with bottom airflow. Really good drip though. Then you have the turbo when they put the fan in. They're trying to do VTEC engines kind of thing. Didn't really like the symbol though, could have done something normal. So there you go. Uh, then what else do you have? Then you have the velocity. Now we're coming to. I like the velocity. Now we're coming. That is a good dripper. This is a very good dripper. Oh my god, I'm trying to push this line. It's freaking heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Big ass dripper, uh, drip tipper. You can put the adapter, use your own as well. One of the best. The best around. And uh, I don't know. Straw. Straw, we simple. This is like stuff from the dude. And recently, the Zorro. The Zorro. Oh, and we have the other one, the Flyborn as well, which was really good. But at the moment, I stuck on the Zorro. Between all of that, 
I'm choosing the this thing one. Is, he's, he's now a dripper person, and, but I'm still a tank person. I'm using the e-pot. I have my tank as well. I have my Zenith here, which I frequently use at work all day. All oh, right, so you do use tanks. Yes, I do. This mm. is more when I get home, when, uh, when I'm uh, at the break. And I just, it just if it fires. It's yeah. locked. I hate when that happens. Well, 45 watts is not bad. Yeah. And this is when I'm at work. And these tanks, the Zenit, the sub tank, the Atlantis, the, the Nautilus, the whatever thing is, they all come with. Wow, that's a nice one. Replaceable heads. You can swap them if you want. This one has the big heads as well. You can swap them around. You can use the, the your own rebuild your coil base thing. Yeah, nowadays you have a bucket load of options you can go through. And uh, yeah. So our recommendations, if you're a beginner. Sub so, sub box. Sub box, you get a sub tank and a sub Sub tank and a sub box. Yeah, sub box and kit. sub tank. Sub box uh, mini kit. It's really good. Uh, you don't have to go from egos, you don't have to go for uh, massive uh, drippers. As a average star to advance, we agree. As a box, put this thing in. On my side. As a dripper, for a dripper if you want to drip. Go for a fly bomb. For a mad hatter. For uh, the Zoro. The Zoro. At the moment, I'm loving the Zoro. The flavor is just amazing. Uh, what else can we talk about? This video is like 41 minutes, yeah, 43 for, seconds. Yeah, if you want to, uh, but be careful if you're going for drippers and sub -oming. Know your batteries, know their rating, their amps. Do the calculation, use Ohm's law. Just there's, use. It, there's apps for your phone to check everything. If you're not sure, check. don't ask them, mate. Go to your uh, local vape shop, an experienced vape shop, and ask them questions. There's no harm on asking questions. As vapors, yeah. it doesn't matter. You can be beginning or experienced. Yeah. Is I even ask stupid questions. Yeah, no one is gonna think like, oh, look at this idiot. He doesn't know. No, we, we, no we want to help. Are not like that. We like to help people. We help each other because obviously, as as you quitting smoking and getting a vapor, that's already you're on our you're on our side. You're a vapor. We want to help you get move forwards and get get a better if experience. If you need help, just ask ask on the comments below our video and we'll do a video just to help you guys out it, 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 if, if you think it's a stupid question is never there is never a stupid question is one is down to your safety is it's about well, safety well there is a stupid question like i'm about to start vaping uh, can i vape at 400 watts with the octa coil build yeah i'm sorry that's stupid like and if you if you if you want to if you're moving from you know uh, an ego and you want to start doing drippers go down to your vape shop Ask them, sit down with them, they'll show you how to build it, they'll show you how to drip it, they'll show you what batteries, what mods, what you used to use, how, again, you don't have to spend out hundreds of pounds, it'll be economical, learn what you need to use, and then you can experience true vaping, and experience... Yeah, go step by step. You don't go. have to go full, fr I've got friends, I know my friends, they were smoking, they know nothing, and now they're using a uh, an actual, uh, what's it called, a, a Segeli uh, 200 watt something, uh, 150 watts, on a, um, a drip part. Yeah, they're lucky. They're luck. They're luck because it's regulated. Yeah, yeah, they're lucky. It's regulated. But if it I guess it was a mechanical. They just went from zero to a hundred in, in just nothing. They don't know what to. Again, uh, luckily I'm there to show them. Look, this is what you. Need. They come to me. What water should I put on and stuff like that, so they'll burn their throats out. But apart from that, you ask. Yeah, basically, even if you get one of these that go out to ridiculous wattage, try not to go do a build that doesn't go over. Uh, the volts of a full charge battery like a full charge battery is 4.2 volts right. so if you're firing it like for example now it's 4.44 it was a bit too high the thing is it's all about practice sit down play around with your mod play yeah. around with your builds see what you can do it is again just have fun sit down get an air dripper do some wraps put it on see fire it see how it's going put some wick vapor if you like That's it not if your battery battery starts to get hot, stop it immediately. Take stop them it. out. You do not want the battery to explode in your hand. They shouldn't be warmer than your than touch of your, your skin. Hand. Yeah, if it starts to get hot, 
stop it, there's something wrong. Well, it's normal if the dripper starts to get hot. Yes. But if the button where you're pressing starts to get hot, stop. Stop it. There's something wrong, or the spring in your mod, it's acting as a coil, or your battery is flipping out. Don't do it. Like for example, I have a 0.44 ohm build in here. I'm vaping at 40.2 watts, and it's pumping out 4.2 volts. You should battery. As a rule of thumb, a full battery is 4.2 volts. Yeah, just regulate it. Now, the when you put on your mod, you can you can adjust your wattage, not over 4.2 volts. Yeah, that you makes sense. a tiny bit over. You can, but uh, my rule of thumb, I don't go over 4.2 volts. Like for example, 45 watts in here is 4.4, 4, 4, 4 volts, 44. Mm -hmm. Still alright, but if I start going into 5 and 6 volts, then Kay. the wick doesn't keep up. And you're the gonna get heats up too much. And once you get a dry hit, it's, it's not a good experience. Yeah, it's too hot. It's it's just it's not uncomfortable. Flavorful. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna get clouds, but it's not enjoyable. Yeah. Well, you might enjoy the clouds, but well, slowly. Don't don't go nuts like 100%. Yeah, I'm gonna go freaking NASA missile into outer space. Just go slow. Go to the moon first, and then slowly go to Mars, and then go to Jupiter, and so on. And then see the abyss of nothing. Yeah, don't go straight into a black hole because that's what's gonna happen to you. Let's go into a freaking single 18 to Let's go 0 0.02 on a ohm mech mod. On the mech, let's fire it, and then yeah, you will fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You'll go on fire, <laughs> most likely. And I'm not lying, I had two batteries on me that has. Again, me not paying attention on care safety, I've had two batteries fire on me. So, first time. Stupidly, I left my mod, my mechanical mod, in the open sun. Over, uh, it was overheating, and then I picked it out. Oh, it was a bit warm. I was all not paying attention. My batteries are starting to sizzle. I want to go and vape it even more, putting more tension onto those batteries. And then I heard some hissing and puffing, and I was sitting at a Costa, and my mod went ridiculously hot. Luckily, I was able to open it up, shut my battery out, and that battery went kaboom boom. Well, it didn't go boom, it sizzled, but if it was in that mod, it would have gone bang. Bang, because of the, the tight space. Uh, I've learned, again, it's always about learning your lessons, well, not really learn, learn from others. Just, just read about it before you start thinking. Yeah, basically. I know we're mumbling, we're talking about safety a lot, but if you have stuff happen to you, as it happened to us, you understand why. It's scary. It, yeah, it's, it's actually freaking scary. Imagine a sharple grenade exploding in front of you. It's like when someone just throws a grenade, it's sitting on, on your floor, you're like, crap, that is about to blow. Holy and, crap, where do if, I go? Yeah, and if the sizzling stops and you throw it into the floor, the battery starts vending. Because it stopped, don't assume it stopped. Don't go and start poking and picking up, ah, oh, this is right, it will go on you. Because batteries will explode after the venting is finished. So just leave it, kick it outside, whatever, do whatever you can, well, just don't go near it. It gives me shivers every Push time it with remember what happens. Something. So yeah, you got that. So we've got what, what we've done, round down what we've did. We showed you Shoot, like mechanical mods, we showed you from starters to beginning, like beginning of vaping all the way to advanced drippers. We we talk, uh, we spoke to you about different... Um, yeah, uh, every... Everything. A bit of the details. There will be other details. Nothing into details. detail. Just a slight comb over. It was a bit boring. If you, I don't know if you managed watching all the way up to here, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's it, guys. We have nothing else to tell you. Just be safe. Be careful. Think about what you do. Don't go nuts. And that's it. Apart from that, we're vaping cars. I'm Michael. I'm George. Ciao. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.